So it's time to risk it all for Africa. I'm going to attempt to dominate everyone on this continent until it is all mine. But I'm using a different game mode here where Fog of War is on. So I'm not going to know which color owns each region of the map. Because obviously a huge strategy here is to just see whichever color is about to monopolize a certain area and get like bonus units per turn and just stop them from doing that. But in this scenario, I will have no idea. You're only going to get three extra units for controlling all of Southern Africa, but yet four for East Africa. Okay. Definitely give me Madagascar then. Madagascar looks super OP. Oh, I love this so much. I have no idea what's going on under the surface. See, normally with like manual placement, I can see like if red has three territories up here, which they don't, but I'm just saying if they did, I could be like, oh, let me just put something in Algeria to defend it. This is perfect because like there are novels written about like expeditions inside of Africa. There was a lot of unknown things going on inside there. It's just such a big area. All right, well, I think I'm going to pick up Tanzania and hopefully no one takes Mozambique, but I'm anticipating someone will probably probably grab it. Oh, no one did. All right. Well, that's cool. I have East Africa now. Doesn't mean that the AI doesn't have one of these other areas. It's actually kind of making me a little bit paranoid. If East Africa is mine, the next logical area... Well, the Horn of Africa is okay, but that's a lot of regions for only four units. I guess it's better than Southern Africa, though. There's no one really in Southern Africa. There's a lot more people in East Africa. I like Somalia because Somalia is, like, cut off. There's no, um, there's no, like, land bridge or whatever, land invasion, naval invasion. So I guess I try to hold on to East Africa and then maybe slowly make my way towards the Horn of Africa. This is not going to be easy if I didn't make that clear already. Okay, so maybe grab Atreya now. One thing I noticed about me playing Risk is uh, I need to just be smart and not go fast. I did some dumb things in the last game of Risk that I played. We also now just have to pray that none of these colors have monopolized a region already here, especially none of the regions that give plus five units per turn, Sahara or Northern Africa. One of my first priorities is probably to lock off South Africa. We need this area of the world because that will keep Madagascar safe. I think I'm going to stay with one unit in Botswana. Tanzania is like a pivotal region for us, a pivotal tile because, wait, we can deploy all of our troops right now? I thought this worked a little bit differently. I'm going to go with five in Tanzania. Maybe I do half my troops in Tanzania. I don't remember doing it like this. I thought we all had to go one by one. Maybe this is a different game mode. I might actually just keep Atreya and Somalia at one and one up here. I don't know if I want to resupply it too much. I want to keep Mozambique safe. I might go all in or almost all in right here in Mozambique and then just give the rest to Madagascar just in case. Now I think I go first, right? Actually, no, I am going second. Please yellow. Don't mess with me. So we can only see tiles that we're right next to. So we actually have a pretty good line of sight. Don't come after me. They did. Okay. Well, I didn't recover. I, I lost line of sight. Uh, I didn't have much of Botswana. I like how the AI attacked me. Oh my goodness. Purple, what are you doing? There's seven in South Africa? I despise you, Purple. Okay. The good thing is I get seven units right here because I'm already getting um, things per turn. So we're going all in. I'm putting 15 in Mozambique and then we're attacking down. We just have to hope this isn't too painful. She's putting seven. The AI knew. 100% chance of winning, but that's how much, oh, we lost seven in that whole process. Okay, so we actually want to keep most behind in Mozambique because we have to keep the region safe more than anything else. And then during my resupply, I'll move from Madagascar, my fortify, I should say, to South Africa. Okay, so we can keep one back there. Oh, nice. So because there's fog of war, um, they skip over like a lot of the things that I can't see. Good. Yeah, red, go down. I'm definitely losing a region in the Horn of Africa this turn because uh, I'm not, yeah, I mean, there's a five here and a four. I literally don't even see green on the map, which means green has a lot of stuff somewhere over here. We probably need to watch green in the late game. There goes purple in Sudan. Probably going to take out Atreya. I mean, oh, they're actually going to use it from Ethiopia. Okay. Oh, you're going to go two. Wow. Yeah, just wipe me out over there. Okay. So my ambitions to expand towards the Horn of Africa have kind of been crushed already. I might as well just stay in South Africa. South Africa is not a good region to be going after. Only three units per turn for all this territory. Let's see what yellow does. Oh, you're going to put all your troops right there. Thanks for that. Don't do it. Let's want it to... Oh, what? Who did you attack? Did Botswana try to go after Angola and then they just lost that? Or no, they, they won it and then they moved their troops, I see. Okay, so I've got seven units here. Honestly, I just need to pick up territory, but where's a, what's a good area for me to get that's still going to be easy to defend? Is there anything like moving from Mozambique to Zimbabwe and then eventually Mozambique to Zambia would be good, but I don't really want to attack a four stack right now. There's only one here in Uganda. What's cool is I have to think like I want to see more of the continent, so maybe I should attack the Congo because 
because then that gives me access to four tiles. I, I have so much vision after that. I think I'm just going to do one here, one here, and then the rest in South Africa because I do want the vision, but we ultimately need to be expanding towards another region. And then I'll just go after the safe choice, which is to get back Botswana. I didn't lose anything in that process, and then we'll just split it five and five. Red, just leave me alone, please. Oh, they didn't resupply in the regions that I see them in, so that's good. Or it could be good. Man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here. Why isn't there a, like, um, land bridge from South Africa to, like, Morocco or something? That'd be cool. Actually, I, I wouldn't like that, but it'd be cool to get up there really quick, but I'm gonna have to just do a painstaking... Here's the thing. With this map, I might fight a huge force. It might be just, like, a divided Africa between one major power and another major power. I've had too many games like that in Risk where it's just two superpowers and just slowly grinding each other down. I don't like that. Again, I don't even know the color purple, so, uh, we can just skip over this guy's turn. Uh-oh. Angola, don't, don't attack Botswana, please. He probably does want to because he has a territory. Oh, okay. We went after Zambia because it was a little bit weaker. Does the AI think about that stuff? Maybe. I know he wants South Africa because he has Zimbabwe. Okay, so if I get another tile here, then I'm guaranteed, well, I'm not guaranteed. I can start possibly getting matching bonuses. I'm not a big fan of yellow. I need to think really hard about that this choice that I'm gonna make. There isn't a tile that I can just move to and then move my units up. South Africa, playing a little conservatively by continuing to um, put like one unit, one unit, and one unit. No matter what here, I'm gonna attack, have to attack uh, a four. Maybe I should attack it with Mozambique. I would love to just boom, boom, but I don't think I can do boom, boom, or could I? Seven plus six is 13. Can a 13 take this and this and then still have units to defend? I don't know about that part. How aggressively do I want to go. Man, the early game is so pivotal. Because I don't know what's going on behind this fog of war, I don't know how aggressive I should be playing right now. If I see an AI already has a region, then I would probably be playing aggressively. I'm going to play aggressively and see what happens. Famous last words. So I'm going straight into Zimbabwe. We need to not lose a lot of units here. We lost six. Oh my god. Oh no. Well, I got a tile. I'm going to get kicked out of Zimbabwe. I should not have done aggressive, I guess. I didn't know I was going to lose six units right there. I need to keep more in Mozambique because I cannot lose East Africa or else things are going to go bad. If yellow puts a bunch here and attacks me in East Africa, which I don't know. he, he I think the AI will be programmed to want to attack Zimbabwe. Bobo instead. He's in that region. It's a weaker area. Let's hope. I'm not going to fortify, I think. I'm just going to leave it. I got my tile. I don't know if I'll get a bonus next turn, but whatever. I'm just, I got to really watch yellow and yellow goes right before me. Well, the Congo only have two units there. Maybe Zambia will attack the Congo. I don't know why Yellow would do that. He should attack Zimbabwe, but don't put units there. Don't put you. Okay, good, good, good. Green left Namibia. Feel relatively safe with Tanzania at seven. What is possibly going on back there? Because I don't see a whole lot of movement or invasion, it, it really is paranoid. I'm very paranoid. Like, what? Is there a monster empire just growing in the shadows? Don't do it. Don't do You mother put three in Uganda and nine here. He's attacking Zimbabwe and he might go for more. Just leave it. Just leave it. Uh, oh, we got so lucky. All right, so my aggressive move didn't really hurt me too badly. And, oh yes, I probably shouldn't have played the last turn aggressively, but it, it didn't cost me anything. If the red uh, team didn't go down, if he kept the Congo, you know, just uh, strong, then he probably was going to attack Zimbabwe. But because there's only one unit there, right? I mean, yeah, you might as well just pick that up. It's it's easy money. Okay, so right here, we're going to get a lot of things. And we're also going to be able to move around a lot of units. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to go one there, make it an even 16. So that means that both of you guys are going to get South Africa. It's going to get a force of eight eight and Zimbabwe will get a force of eight and we just do two attacks this turn here to Namibia. Green you probably don't mind that right and then Zimbabwe to Zambia and okay not bad. Now we just defend this stuff. I need to get these units out of Mozambique. We'll probably begin to move after the Horn of Africa now and then next turn depending on what happens with Red and Angola. Uh, when I get Angola we're gonna be looking really good because then I can move everyone out of Bat Botswana. We need to be careful because the AI is going to be starting to get their own um, card bonus pretty soon. What do you get for Central Africa? This is one of the best places in the entire map. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I guess this is why South Africa doesn't give you that much because it's very easy to defend. Super easy to defend. Central Africa obviously is not. It's in the center. Oh, yeah, there it is. Purple just got 10 troops too. Good thing I don't know what purple is. But we know for sure no one has these regions. So this is going to be scary because this is the turn where I probably get a lot of sight on things. Okay, that's fine. You can have a seven stack there. You're probably not going to come after me. I think you definitely won something here. Maybe. Okay, so we're now getting 10 units per turn. We could probably easily move. Boom, boom. Three tiles this, this turn. Ooh, that would be very aggressive though. I'm worried about
about Tanzania. I wonder who's stronger, yellow or purple? Purple is about to get, oh yeah, look, you can see their cards there. Sorry, pink, I, I'm getting my colors mixed up. I think I'd rather not be bordering this pink. I don't, yeah, I think I need to not play super aggressively. I just might pick up two tiles instead of the three that I was thinking. Yeah, I think that's the right idea. I already tried to play aggressive at first and that didn't really work out too well. Okay, we got Angola and lost one unit in the process. Oh, that's right. With the Congo, uh, I'm super well defended with just these two tiles. Wait a second. What if I do Tanzania and then I can resupply this 12 stack right here? There's no one that, yeah, I think I can do that. And I'm going to take out pink. This might be a bad idea, but okay, I'm going to go back to my aggressive strategy. Strategy. There's nothing over here. Okay, now I'll stop and I'm gonna take this 12 and put him there. Okay, I think that is good. I think. Famous last words again. A uh oh. Uh oh. Don't do it. Don't tag me. Why would you tag me when the con why would you tag me when the Congo's right? There was a unit. Okay, well, you probably went there. I don't like that. I mean, I guess he went after the other Congo. That was three, but okay, well, luckily red went. And red is it in a weird way defending me now. Unless oh wait, someone could just obliterate red and then just start obliterating me. We know red has um this Congo. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, don't do it, <laughs> leave Kenya alone, oh my god, don't do it, though of course they're gonna do it, they probably have Atreya, yeah they just monop monopolized, oh, yellow was about to die, if I killed yellow I would've got all her cards, this is why that fog of war, so pivotal, man I was feeling good, okay, well the players that went are the only ones that I can see already, I've two cards. So as long as they don't get wiped out, I don't know what in the hell is going on with purple. I do not see any purple. They definitely have monopolized this region. I think I saw it. Okay, wait, whatever. I'm still getting 10 per turn, which has to be more than the others. So what I have to do, I have this six back here that I get to do something with. I have to go all 10 here and then 12 to Kenny to stop pink, then move the six up this way. I think that is the plan. I didn't think that much before I did all this. This might backfire. I kind of was just like, uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Okay, no, two, not big, super big numbers around me. Then we go, I want to take out Kenya just so I can see what's back there. I will put everything in front and then I'll move Botswana to help out Tanzania and then maybe we'll get a bonus next turn. All right, so this is stopping them from having a region. Good. Let's hope that that was just a misfire. We had a bad turn last time. We're not going to have a bad turn this time. Red is nicely fortified in front of me and they have ended their turn. So thank you for defending my land. Problem would be if pink defends puts a bunch in Uganda. Oh, pink has four cards too. They might get a bonus here. And it goes after Tanzania. Luckily, I stopped them from their monopoly in Atreya. Yeah, look, they only got three instruments. So they did, they would have had a, a region and they don't have the bonus. Oh, we got lucky. Ooh, we got lucky. So because I attacked, they didn't have this region bonus and they luckily did not have a matching bonus. So they only had three units that turn because they could have wiped me out in Tanzania and then just rolled over all this stuff. A lot of our slow start is due to my aggressive move in the very beginning and then losing six units. That sucked. Do I have? Ooh, and I have another Another matching bonus this time 12 oh boy gonna make the world pay how many tiles can i take in one turn i say i go 10 and 10 or maybe less i'm gonna go 8 in tanzania and then 12 in the congo let's pick up uganda and then we get we, we're going to unify the congos there's purple finally and then i'm gonna go here and then just do oh we accidentally took out red look at that would have had no idea boom that gives me a bonus we don't want to put them Oh, we want to do half and half. Yeah, I'll do eight in the front, seven in the back. Do I have a trading bonus? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, you get plus two when you control the country of IC. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, crap. I did not realize Sedan can attack the Congo. Why did I not see that? I was not paying attention, honestly. I might just move back from this province, which I'll never be able to pronounce in my entire life, and go back to the Congo. If they take that, then they take that. I can't attack a 12 stack in Sedan. Well, I could. Uganda to Sedan. That's too risky. I would lose a lot in that process. All right, I'm going to retreat because I'm stupid. Oh, there's three in Zimbabwe. That'd be two in the Congo. When did I get three in Zimbabwe? I think either way I have to retreat. I didn't realize that I made that mistake. Okay, this could be bad though. Okay, good. We don't, we're not next to green. Sedan could put a lot there, come after the Congo and then wipe me up. The Congo stop me in South Africa and stuff. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, green. Pink is not very strong. I think I could probably kill pink. They're not gaining territory either because they still have that four, those four cards. Should I make a move to kill pink right now? They might only have those two territories. Atreya might have been taken by green or something. I wonder who we have to worry about most. Okay, so I have 11 now and I have another bonus. So this is it right here. Okay, priority number one, take this. I want Sedan. Dang, 
We have a lot of things that I should do. With Uganda takes Sudan, I have to think. I hate thinking. If I take Sudan, then I can keep pink safe weirdly and then kill them next turn when I want to. I'm pretty sure this is all they have. I wish I didn't retreat now, kind of. I didn't know you guys were- well, maybe it was a good thing. I just can't believe you didn't attack this guy. I guess I'll just make this simple and put- ooh, so I have to take five out this way. So I'm gonna put like 12 in the Congo. Okay, maybe 13 actually. I'm getting a little nervous. And then the rest in Uganda. Okay, let's- let's get this going right now. Okay, not bad. We'll stay there. Green is looking kind of good. Yep. That was right. That's pretty much all pink has. I can't put everyone... Oh, I can. That's right. Yeah, Kenya's keeping me safe. We'll fortify from the Congo to this one tile. Or I don't even need to do that if I... No, I'm not going to do that. There's no point in me going anymore, actually. There's really no point. I don't, like, need to go this turn. So I'm going to wait till next turn. And we now have vision on the final three regions. And it's clearly not monopolized. There's nothing they can do, I don't think. They can try. They didn't even try. Okay, so it's time to finally do some unspeakable, unforgivable things to whoever is in the Horn of Africa. We have literally... Um, um, siege them off so that we can just probably commit war crimes. Oh, there's a nine stack in Nigeria. Yeah, purple's looking good, probably. I'm getting 18 units. I think we just do nine, nine, and then everyone moves up. But I need to be able to kill these guys, though. I'm just gonna make sure I kill per pink right here. I man, I'm bad at colors. Okay, first of all, war crime time. They literally couldn't even attack me last time because they didn't have anywhere to go. Okay, so they're dead. Oh, they're not dead. That sucks. I don't know why I really thought they would be right just right there. So someone else is gonna probably steal that kill from me. And we just move up to Chad because that's just smart. And I might even do more than that. We need to defend probably this this nine stack in Nigeria is kind of scary. I might as well go up to Libya and then I'll stop. I'm gonna move this 15 to I have to put them all there. I kind of would rather put the 15 in the center. Could be bad. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna be fine because purple doesn't have four cards. Nobody kill pink. Pink is mine. Pink has not gained a territory in like 10 turns. Oh, there they go. So they probably did now. Yeah, they finally did. 10 turns is ridiculous, but like maybe four turns. Turns. Don't put anything in Nigeria. You're scaring me with Nigeria. All right. Okay, we're good. That could have been a lot. And now we just auto bots roll out. Just an absolute wall. Industrialized country just moving in. Do we win the game right here? Maybe. Oh, yeah, because we, we're probably going to kill some people. Yeah, we win the game right here. Let's see if I eat those words. I've said that a lot in this video. Yeah, give me your four cards. Five cards. That's right. I just stole a, probably a matching bonus from her. This feels like when the no no Germans were um, pushing out the French and British. This purple nation's probably doing their own Dunkirk right now out of Africa somehow. I don't know where they're going. I don't know, but you can't stay here. Don't got to go home. Home, but you, well, you can't go home. I'm destroying your home. All right, that got a little tense there, but as most risk games go, like that early stage is pretty much the most pivotal part. I feel like I was really close to losing this whole thing and embarrassing myself again. And big thanks to Drew's sexy girlfriend. Young wife. I stole Drew's, Drew's pet dog. Argentinian grandpa. Arian After Hours. Fat, no Alex wall. Whitley is mega Bonsky chad. Bring back Canadian Bowling Union. Ball. Gaming nuts. Candy Cane. 789. Lover. Majestic Unicorn. Max Cooper. Nemo Shiki. Nora the Bold. Five, six, smiling Lovers. Philip R. F. Robert Ryan e. the Pie. The Mexican 760. And why am I doing this? 